Hey, how's it going? Lee Hayward here, and right now I'm down in my basement getting ready to do a home gym leg workout. And it's a good thing that I have this down here because right now we're in the middle of a snowstorm and it is not fit to go to the gym. So I decided I'm just gonna play it safe, stay home, and train legs at home. And normally I like to go to the gym to do leg workouts because obviously you have more uh, equipment available at the gym and I just feel I can get a better workout. But we're going to make do down here, uh, just covering some basic exercises. Going to be doing some squats, uh, leg extensions, leg curls, uh, some barbell calf raises. I mean, even though it's just basic, simple exercises, we're going to get a killer workout nonetheless. So let's jump right to it. And the first exercise of our leg workout is the barbell squat, the king of leg exercises. And for this one, I'm going to do five sets of five repetitions. That's five working sets. Now, before I get to those working sets, I'm going to do several progressively heavier warm-up sets. So, uh, my first warm-up set is just going to be body weight squats. Not even going to have a bar on my back. And then I'll probably use the empty barbell for another set. And then just one plate per side. And just gradually build up uh, set by set. Uh, just doing low reps, but still doing those progressively heavier warm-up sets. And the purpose of that is to get the kinks out of the joints, you know, to limber up the knees and to just get comfortable with the exercise and to prevent injury. Injury prevention is absolutely critical with your weight training workouts. I mean, regardless of what program you're following, regardless of what diet plan you're following or anything like that, if you get injured, everything comes to a screeching halt. So <laughs> you have to take care of yourself and take precautions to ensure that you're uh, minimizing your risk of injury and warm-up sets are one of the best things that you can do. I mean, lifting within your means helps a lot as well, you know, keeping a level head and realizing that we have limitations, but warm-up sets, hands down, absolutely critical, especially for your big compound lifts. So don't skimp on those warm-ups. So right here, doing uh, five sets of five reps. Uh, I'll, I'll usually keep the same weight, and when I can get all five sets of five reps, uh, with a given weight, with good form, uh, then I'll increase the weight for my next workout. And with your big compound exercises, take your time between sets. I recommend resting at least two to three minutes between sets to allow for adequate recovery so that you can train to muscular exhaustion rather than just getting fatigued through cardiovascular exhaustion. And after the squats, going to do some isolation work for the quadriceps with the leg extension. And when it comes to training at a home gym, you usually don't have a lot of equipment available. I, this is pretty much all I have is the squats, uh, leg extensions, and leg curls. But hey, if you make the do, you can still get a killer workout nonetheless. So uh, doing the same thing again, some lighter uh, warm-up sets and gradually working up to heavier weight with each set. Uh, with this exercise, I like to really focus on getting a good peak contraction by holding that top position of the leg extension. So as I extend the legs up, really focus on squeezing the quads hard and trying to hold it for a split second. Now, I mean, it's going to be really hard because that's where the maximum amount of tension is, but purposely try and squeeze your quads hard at the top because this is a peak contraction exercise. Now for the sets and reps, I'm going to do four sets of around 10 to 12 repetitions and resting anywhere between one to two minutes between sets. And moving on in our leg workout, I'm going to do some isolation work for the hamstrings with the lying leg curl. And this exercise is a peak contraction move for the hamstrings. I mean, it's, it's basically the same uh, to your legs as what bicep curls are to your arms. A really good peak contraction move. So you want to focus on getting a full range of motion and really trying to squeeze your hamstrings hard at the top of each rep. I mean, visualize trying to touch your butt with your heels. Now, I mean, obviously you're not going to be able to do that, but that's what you want to try and visualize to get that full contraction all the way up. And just like all our other exercises, I'm going to start off with a light warm-up, working up to our heavier working weight. And for this one, I'm going to do four working sets of 10 to 12 repetitions and resting between one and two minutes between sets.
Now we're going to do some work for the calves with the barbell calf raise. And this is an awkward exercise. It requires full body stabilization. I mean, unlike doing calf raises at the gym where you're using the standing calf raise machine, this one you have to balance and support your body. I mean, you may have that tendency to want to fall forwards or backwards, so you really have to slow down and ground yourself between each repetition in order to be able to do this exercise. So start off with very light weight, just get used to the movement and to balance yourself, and then gradually increase the weight. And I recommend doing higher repetitions, uh, somewhere in the vicinity of at least 15 repetitions per set, and really focus on trying to get up on the balls of your feet with each rep for a good peak contraction. And after you do the barbell calf raises, you can do some single leg body weight calf raises. And this is a great one to really train the calves to failure and to get a great pump and a great burn in the calf muscles. So just rep out to failure with this one. I mean, high repetitions and focus on getting a good peak contraction. Really make sure to get up on the balls of your feet and squeeze your calves hard with each rep. And to quickly recap the leg workout, I started off with barbell squats for five sets of five repetitions, followed by leg extensions for four sets of 10 to 12 reps. After that, did some lying leg curls for four sets of 10 to 12 reps. Now moving on to the calves, doing barbell calf raises for four sets of at least 15 repetitions per set, and finished off with single leg body weight calf raises for four sets of at least 15 reps per leg. So there you go, that's a complete leg workout that you can try for yourself. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to post those down in the comment section below. And if you enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up and stay tuned for my next video coming soon. And just one more thing before you go. I have a special gift for you. It's a free 51 page report called The Three Keys to Building Muscle. This report is an easy read and it covers the fundamentals to getting in shape, training, nutrition, and mindset. The training section will show you how to combine strength training workouts and cardio conditioning together for building lean muscle while burning body fat at the same time. The nutrition section will show you how to figure out the exact number of calories that you need for your body type and the proper ratio of protein, carbohydrates, and fat. It even outlines a sample daily meal plan that you can follow along with. And finally, the section on mindset will help set you up for success by taking a practical and realistic approach to goal setting and following through with your fitness program. To download your copy, just click on the link in the video description below or visit my website at leehayward.com.